Hello everyone and welcome to my kingdom. In today's video I'm going to be repotting a few plants. So two of my pothos are like extremely overdue for a repot and when I mean extremely I should have repot them last year. <laughs> my downfall is that I'm extremely picky with my pots so like even if I find a pot at the like right size and right price I'm like I don't like it. I won't get it. So I went out this morning and I bought a pot and I do like it. I wanted to get another pot for the mandula but I already have that big pot and I didn't want to get another one just because I could be saving money and I'd have nowhere to put that one in the meantime. So they are both like extremely overdue for a repot which I haven't seen the roots yet but I guarantee you that I might not be able to get them out of the pots just because they're probably so root bound. I'm hoping they're not. Maybe it's just in my head, but I have the pot right there. I'll go grab it for you guys. So here is the pot that I got. It's really cool because it's got fish on it and it was a huge size. It's 41.8 quarts. I got this one at Lowe's and it was only like 20 bucks for a pot this big. That is an extremely good price because if you're into plants, you know, anything besides just terracotta pots are expensive nowadays. So here is the pot. Super cute and it's very me. So I'm just gonna repot plants today and if that's not your thing, I apologize. At this point, it's just whatever happens. So I got a package in the mail and it's something I'm super excited about. I'm gonna grab it and unbox it for you guys right now. So here's the box. It's really heavy. So I'm just gonna start off by saying like this is something I'm really excited to try. I saw the company um, post it on their Instagram. And I love the original version of it. So when I saw this one, I got pretty excited. And I know I haven't um, said what's in the box yet, but I want to show you guys at the same time I'm seeing it because I waited to record this before I unboxed it. And packaging is always something I'm super excited about. I'm just gonna put it on my bed so I can grab it out. <laughs> Here is the bag. I'm gonna take it out of the other bag. It is the Fluval Biostratum. So Fluval has had their own soil line for a very long time. It was just the Fluval soil, which was a volcanic soil. And this is the new product that they just released. It is an aqua soil that is pretty much infused with bacteria. So when you start your tank, especially with aqua soils that leach ammonia, it's gonna help jumpstart the cycle and get the cycle faster. So this is what the bag looks like. It's pretty much similar to a stratum, but I think the label is blue instead of red. So yeah, this is their new product. It is just bacteria already infused and it'll pretty much jumpstart your cycle and help your plant to tank do much better. So I will be using this on the four gallons first and then I will have a lot extra, but we'll see what I do with those because I'm not sure what other projects I have yet. So now getting to what we're doing today. I'm gonna start by taking the giant pothos down. It is extremely heavy, just the pot was like a, a clay pot. So it's heavy in itself and after I watered it, it was like another at least 20, 30 pounds on top of the plant itself as well. And it's just like a big volume to carry. So I need to take that one down, get it in the new pot and then use that one take that one down and then put it in that pot and then I'll have that one. But the hard part is gonna be getting them out because I'm pretty sure they're root bound. So it's gonna be hard to wiggle the roots out of the pots, but we'll see how that goes. Let's get to it. All right, so I'm gonna start out by um, punching out these drainage holes. I've never done this before, so I don't know how easy or hard it is. So yeah, cinnamon with this. Okay, so it just says to karate chop it with a screwdriver. I don't know how accurate that is. That didn't work. Uh, it did crack a little bit, but it works. Oh, 
awesome. Okay, so when I say it's very big, I mean it's like, let me tilt you guys up. Those are the larger leaves and this plant is very heavy. So I'm gonna start by bringing it down and I just wanna report it because if it falls, I get it on camera. So this is the giant poses that we're gonna repot. I'm just gonna bring it down first and then we're gonna get it out of the pot. I really don't know where to start. So I'm just gonna try to put it on its side and hopefully it just wiggles its way out. best view I can get you guys right now. I'm already finding roots like right here. It's growing. I'm pretty sure the whole pot is just roots. Oh, I'm a bad plant mom. <laughs> so now kind of knowing the extent of how root bound it is, our hope is that we can still get the plant out without being stuck in the pot. So I think it's going to take a while. I'm just going to shut the camera off and then I will show you guys the roots when I get it out. So I think I got it to budge. No! <laughs> no back down. So like I said, it was super root bound. I'm just really thankful that I didn't have to break my favorite pot to get it out though. Okay, so now that I have it in the pot, I'm just gonna have to fill it with dirt and I have to do it gallon by gallon because um, the bags are too heavy to carry over and I wanna be able to lift it as I fill it as well. So it's probably gonna take another hour. So I was hoping that was the easy one, but I don't think this one's going to be any easier. I hope it is, but we're just going to bring that down and then I'm going to do the same exact process.
All right, so I just finished getting everything in place. The big potos is right there. It's got his new pot. And then I have the mandula right here. I might keep switching it around because I just, I'm not sure if I like its position or not. So that is the end of my repop video. Thank you guys so much for spending the day with me. If you did learn anything or enjoy the content, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye everyone.